What's up guys, I'm here with another product release today. This is a gas cap latch fix actually. Um, so occasionally right here you have your uh, hatch and your gas cap latch. Um, and if you push it down, it'll pop the gas cap. But if a piece breaks in their trunk, uh, it won't actually pop it anymore. So I went ahead and made this fix for it. Um, I've been having that trouble ever since I got my car. It came broken like that for the past two years. Um, and I kind of rigged up like some string and some springs to kind of get it to fix itself. Um, but I went ahead and made this and it returns the it returns it to original use, so it's really great. I'll show you guys how it works. Um, so if you push this down and your uh, gas cap doesn't pop, um, this should be a pretty good fix for you. Alright guys, here we are in the back of the trunk. So I went ahead and removed our tool tray. And right underneath the tool tray is this little kind of latch mechanism. Um, and basically what this does is uh, there's a line coming from the front and uh, there's a the line that goes through it is for the hatch and then there's this mechanism right here that pops the trunk. Or sorry, it pops the gas lid. Um, so if this gets pulled, it pops the gas lid by pulling that out. Um, and then if the line gets pulled through here, it pops the trunk. Now then you might be able to see on mine, um, this little plas plastic piece right here broke. So this little tab separated from the inside. And so now when this tries to pull to uh, pop the gas latch, uh, it doesn't do anything. So I went ahead and made this little piece. Um, it just slips right over the end here. Uh, if you want, you can cut off this old piece, but it actually works with it still on. Um, and it just slips over and it holds this piece to that. So whenever this gets pulled, all the, it all pulls back at once. So I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like with it on. All right, so it just slips right over the top, um, and as you can see, it holds it in right now. So now when this gets pulled forward, it'll release the gas cap with it. Um, and then it has the line that goes through it that pops the trunk. So now you don't have any problem. So if we go over here, we can see our gas cap is popped because I just popped it. And now if we come inside, right here, we just push this to open the gas cap. And then we come back around, our gas cap's open. So as you can see, this is a great thing, uh, and it keeps this little mechanism um, working just fine. It doesn't pull it out too far, because you can see I had these springs and everything here. Um, that was a test version. Uh, but I had these, and uh, one thing that would, that would happen sometimes is this return spring. Uh, it would actually keep it too far out, and so I wouldn't be able to close the gas cap. I'd have to open this and like squish it back down. Uh, but this little cap right here, it works wonders. Uh, it fits perfectly over. There's just a tiny little bit of wiggle room for everything. Um, but it sits right underneath your battery tray, so it's held down, so it's fine. Uh, so this is a great thing to have. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, gets rid of this just absolutely terrible looking bundle. Um, so these are available right now on ZGarage.net. They're only $8. Um, and that is shipped in the continental United States. Um, so you can go ahead and pick that up right now. It is live. Um, and I've got another couple, a couple other pieces coming. Um, so keep your eyes out, keep your eyes out for that um, on the ZGarage.net. And I've also added a new clearance section. Uh, clearance is basically sometimes you get failed prints when you're doing 3D printing. Um, so I went ahead and take, taken all my failed prints of these, uh, the mirror mounts, the strut tower caps, and they're on there for significantly discounted prices. Um, they're a little bit warped, but they still fit and function correctly. So if you want to go ahead and pick one of those up for cheap, um, go ahead and just go to the clearance, uh, and you'll be able to find those there. If you guys have any other questions about what this does, or if you have any other things you want me to print, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I will definitely get back to you guys. I usually get back to you in like five or ten minutes, um, unless it's late at night. I get a lot of comments late at night, which is weird. Uh, but other than that, guys, there you go. I hope that this helps a couple of people out there. Um, I know it definitely helped me, and I will see you guys later.